guys so i've been driving around for a little bit of time happy friday by the way um but i've been driving around a little bit but i finally found a parking spot i came down to bed uh i used to live in this area and there's a rainbow here if you guys watched my previous vlogs you guys would have known so i have one item i have to return you really can't try the clothes on in store so i buy it go home and try it on so um right now i'm gonna go into this one and return and see what they got to because i have to experiment but i'm not gonna vlog that because i killed you guys in this week's vlog that's going up today with a lot of rainbow shops and a lot of home goods and stuff like that so i don't really feel it's necessary for me to do that today so i'm just gonna go in there exchange it I did see something that I like, so I'm just going to pick it up if they have it here. Or if they have other stuff, then I'll get the other stuff that they have here. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Go back to my house because the parking will be available. Um, go home, upstairs, make a bagel, finish editing the vlog, and get ready for premiere party time. Here we All right, guys, video is about to go up right now. I am currently getting some chicken wings right let me show you guys this i'm currently getting some wings together for tonight i just used some mccormick's rosemary chicken seasoning um lemon pepper seasoning and uh as well as what else i put in here um black pepper and salt so it's very basic i'm about to i'm gonna fry these but i'm gonna boil them first like haitian style and then i'm gonna fry them but um the premiere is about to start in a minute it's a mess over here. Look at all that dirt. Oof. Uh, yeah, so it's about to start in a minute. wings guys they look so so good I put a little bit of the D Hudgens uh, sugar-free honey barbecue sauce on it um, I did go ahead and make myself some Trader Joe's uh, mac and cheese and added some turkey bacon in it and a little bit of breadcrumbs I have a small serving I didn't get too much just because I had a carb earlier but um, look at those wings baby Okay. All right, so quick update. Everything is pretty much in this room right here, the living room. Uh, we didn't close any of the boxes yet, but everything is pretty much stacked up in here. Uh, we do have fresh clothes to wash. We want everything to be washed and fresh, so we're going to do that tomorrow, which is Sunday. So all of this will be done tomorrow, and this will also be bagged, which is great. So we're going to do a bag box. So we have more boxes for the fresh, clean clothes. I did end up uh, fitting both of my mannequin heads in here and all of our tools, including my boyfriend's uh, shade razor and stuff like that so all the blow dryers hot combs curlers um and all my supplies for my wig sales are actually in this box so i was happy that i was able to get this one covered girl okay now <clears throat> i do have like uh, passports all my important information like tax docs and stuff like that all of my files and stuff like that that i have memory cards and flash drives i put them in my book bag because i take my book bag with me like last with my stuff and then also the desktop but i'm taking both of my uh, the iMacs, my boyfriend's iMac and mine's to Apple uh, when I go back to Connecticut because I need to get them like fixed but every time I move I always take my book bag with all my important docs so I just left that there my boyfriend's book bag's here I have one two large boxes of my personal clothes plus the ones I have to wash uh, we do have enough space in this apartment I have a double closet in my office we have a walk-in closet in our bedroom and then yes yeah, so yeah we got storage too and drawers and stuff like that so I'm not afraid I did go ahead and put my press on nails my diploma all that kind of stuff is in here my makeup products um, I did get some stuff sent from Lush you guys know Lush so I got my Lush uh, Beauty um, bars in here, so obviously the second bathroom has like a, you know, stone, a tub, so I get to use that. So everything that I had is in here, and my here. My battery's going to die in a minute, but everything is off the sides, and everything's on the floor. Now, it looks like there's a lot of stuff here, guys, but a lot of this stuff is garbage. Um, a lot of the clothes have to be thrown away. I do have a bag of clothes that I'm donating, and this bag here, this pile here, is everything that I'm selling. Um, I have new sneakers there and stuff like that the mirror is coming with us but this uh, rack right here is going in the garbage 
and everything else that you guys see that's probably just like straight laying around will be in the garbage so I just have to go through everything take my shoes out and then the office will be done this will take me maybe like 45 minutes I do have like those old little things I need to throw out I also have in here this stand which I'm gonna toss as well too in my camera and my iPhone thing my Uggs so pretty much it's just a lot of garbage that needs to get thrown out I'm gonna rip, rip the contact paper off of here because now we got um, this drawer which we're gonna put into the closet so um, and this will actually be mine uh, I'm gonna put some of my clothes in here so yeah so I'm gonna gather this stuff up as well too so we're pretty much almost done tomorrow probably like the wrap-up day and we'll have the stuff sent to the new apartment apartment on maybe like the fifth my lease here isn't done till the 15th so we still have time to linger around um but our other apartment is uh, ready to go so we're just taking our time happy sunday guys so it is laundry day last laundry day here we wanted to make sure you wash all the clothes so that's what we're doing right now um yeah so i'm gonna do that i do need to go to dollar tree so i'll tell you guys when we to do oh i thought i was charging my camera this entire time it's gonna die um so i'll probably film on my phone dang I, oh the circuit was off damn it so i'm gonna head to dollar tree to get some more detergent and stuff but this is the second batch i have two more left and then i'm gonna be done we're gonna fold it put them in the boxes and get ready to move so So it is, we're barbecuing for dinner tonight. So I got some nice chicken quarters on the grill. It is kind of loud out, so I hope you guys can hear me. Um, but I'm about to put a little bit of jerk seasoning on, or jerk, uh, you know. Um, I didn't want to do barbecue because we had barbecue, I think, last week. So I want to make these jerk style. Today was really nice outside. My boyfriend, was like, when he got home, he was like, you know, we should barbecue for the last time. So I said, I. Right. And he's not feeling well right now, so. I decided to take over as the grill master and the grill is really hot today. So here goes a little bit of the jerk sauce that I, I just kind of mix it together. I'm just gonna, this is gonna be so ghetto, but let me do it quick and I'll be right back. Right, so I'm about to take the chicken off the grill, it's ready. I'm so excited, like I'm starving. So I decided to make these. I've never had these before, but I've had their like straight fries. They're supposed to be like a little healthier. Um, so I decided to do the potato wedges. It actually comes already with all the stuff on it. So I'm just gonna put like a little bit of olive oil spray and pop them in here for about, 10 minutes and that's that so that's what we're gonna have and like I said they're already seasoned so I don't got to put nothing on it maybe a little bit of pink salt pink Himalayan salt I pick up some short ribs y'all know I don't eat this and he sometimes eats beef or like steak but not that much maybe like once a year so he wanted to just do this so I was like you know I'll season it for you I did salt pepper um, lemon seasoning lemon pepper seasoning and I also used thyme just to give it like a little bit of an oaty flavor like a smokehouse type flavor you know, is it time that one? Yeah, black pepper and pink salt. So I'm gonna put these on the grill, I'm gonna take the chicken. All right guys, here's the chicken. It actually tastes really, really good. It's not too spicy. I did use, let me show you guys. I used the uh, Jamaica's Choice Original Jerk. Hot, it's not that hot. Or maybe I'm tripping. Uh, this is what the wedges look like so far. Oh, my countertop is dirty. But this is what it looks like so far. I'm gonna just leave it in here for a few more minutes because I still want it to be a little bit crispy. But it's gonna be different. so here's the short ribs guys they came out looking really good i don't eat this so my boyfriend has to let you guys know what it tastes like i forgot to tell you guys i use soy sauce as a base so i use soy sauce garlic lemon pepper black pepper pink salt and a little bit of garlic herb seasoning the grillers one grill mates one so it looks super super All right good. guys so it is monday happy monday so i got like the most basic outfit on today guys i got my top it's like an oversized shirt from where's this from doll uh five below i have some black leggings on and this um kind of like what do you call this again what do 
gonna call these jet the shacket from uh, Forever 21 and I just have my hair in this little half up half down style because I'm gonna film with this unit so I decided just to um, get her ready for today I'm actually gonna film an Instagram reel as well too as you guys can see the background is empty except in there because there's boxes in there I do have to call the company today the moving company um, so that I can go over how many things I have because I'm gonna have them come on Wednesday to move the stuff I'm heading over right now to go see the apartment and I also need to go to Target to get new sheets and stuff like that for our bed because we're gonna move we're gonna sleep there I think Wednesday or Thursday so I want to go get um, some new sheets and stuff like that from Target I do need to place an order on Amazon once I get back I have I'm gonna do three hours of a lecture so I'm gonna probably do four hours of lecturing um, well not when I get back but like later in the evening once I'm done with my filming I'm gonna go ahead and do some lecturing this vlog will go up on Friday it'll be the weekend including this week because I didn't do that much this weekend but pack um, so I'm gonna make it into a longer vlog I think you guys enjoyed the one I posted on Friday um, you guys watched it so I'm gonna do it the same way and just combine the Friday not say sometimes you guys will get two vlogs but I feel like because the summertime's coming up and I'm going on vacation like every month it just makes more sense for me to do like just a weekly vlog combined together or we a vlog and then when I go on vacation just do separate vlogs so then it, you get what I mean so that's what I'm gonna do for now um, once I get adjusted because like I said I gotta like we gotta get, like move and then I'm leaving in three weeks I'm going to Aruba so this Aruba trip is like a real uh, sister trip like we just drove to DC cuz we live in a tri-state area so DC is literally right there so it wasn't a big deal like we could just drive to like we literally could drive to Toronto Toronto's like eight hours like and me and my boyfriend pretty much do that like every year it's not that far so um yeah so we're going to Aruba in like three weeks so I can't wait so I can't wait till you guys see that vlog it's gonna be fun I already have like content planned for that trip so yeah so this is like I said this is what I'm wearing today very basic y'all know I always wear my Balenci's um I do have a whole bunch of shoes right here like that I gotta put away um the shoes that I'm keeping and stuff like that I do have like mad shoes and the ottomans in there but um yeah and then all the, also so I did do my clothes. We have that box. That I just didn't close anything up yet, but we pretty much done. If y'all feel me, if y'all can see what I'm talking about, so and everything in there is pretty much done. So all the clothes are washed. We just gotta clean the kitchen, the bathroom, and they're gonna. I the late the property manager called me, so they're probably gonna do an inspection uh, soon. But she'll let me know. Gotta go. All right, yo, all right guys, I look super greasy right now. I'm definitely gonna have to take my makeup off. So I did go ahead, I didn't even talk to you guys all day. It's like five o'clock right now. But I did go ahead and do an Instagram reel, which came out so freaking cute. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'll have a try and haul going up tomorrow. I did some of the clips today, but I didn't really like my hair and make my hair and makeup for the outfit. So I did a few outfits with the hair. Uh, the ones that I like, I'll just use those and I'll use other clips. I also took thumbnails with this hair, so I don't know. I like the hair, but just not for the outfits. You guys know how I always am. But let me show you guys the Instagram reel I did today. And then I also want to tell you guys, to stop. Like, literally, guys, like... <laughs> I was talking to you guys about the stock maybe like, I don't know how many, like a week or two ago when I told you guys I made $10,000 in a day. For the last few days, I've been making like thousands of dollars, like thousands of dollars. Like today I made almost $7,000. Um, the other day, I started earlier at $4,000 and the stock market closed and I ended up with $6,700 or $6,500 uh, that I made today. Like, and I don't really, like I said to you guys, this is almost a, sa this is, this is a savings account for me. It's a savings account so I can get exactly what I want, like buying property wise. So once I feel like I get to the max where I'm comfortable at, then I'll take the money out. But like, bro, I'm making bank right now. Like literally doing influencing, and then getting doing stocks at the same time I'm making a killer bank right now like it's crazy because stocks is not something and I'm not really good at it but it's something that I bought and I kept so therefore I'm just I'm just doing I'm riding it out so I don't know how to explain like I know I haven't bought like new stocks in a long time I have a list of stocks that are that I've had for a while but the one that's giving me the most money is cryptocurrency right now and anybody knows everybody says cryptocurrency is not safe in this and that only haters say stuff like that especially people that didn't get into it when other people got into it early luckily I got into this one early enough where I'm making a substantial amount guys I literally put four hundred dollars in and
happy thursday guys so this vlog is absolutely 100 percent all over the place um i had a lot going on this week a lot of filming to catch up on um i'm actually at target right now because i'm gonna pick up some new sheets uh like uh fitted sheets comforter set all that kind of stuff and some new towels and face cloth face wash i did not bring a reusable bag so i'm gonna have to be walking out here with a whole bunch of things in my hand but that's fine i just decided to come and buy some things because we're we're gonna be at the house tomorrow and then after i'm gonna actually take you guys to the apartment with me so we can show you the apartment unfurnished um empty apartment tour i believe they would have cleaned it today it should be all clean and everything by now so i'll take you guys and show it to you guys in this video and yeah so this week's video is probably short uh probably simple but you guys will see this on saturday um hopefully you guys enjoy you guys get to see the new apartment empty i'm saying that but i hopefully hopefully they cleaned it up because they had all this other stuff if they didn't i'm just gonna take this stuff and put it on the hallway because that's super disrespectful the people will come and pick it up after but like i'm leaving i'm taking that stuff out it's just ridiculous i'll show you guys crossing my fingers that's not the case um hopefully when I get to the place it's all clean it's super early this is the hair that I filmed with yesterday from divaswigs.com I have her in today again I left her I was gonna take her off last night but I decided to leave her uh, yesterday I had a call with uh, magic links you guys know I'm partnered with them and um, love them so I had like a little meeting with one of the managers there um, so I showed you guys me real quick yesterday um, and that's basically all y'all saw yesterday <laughs> so um like i said we're gonna go into target real quick i think i'm gonna just bring the tripod in with me i mean people are gonna stare anyways that's whatever like i don't really care so i'll bring the camera with me i need a cart this time and yeah so we need towels washcloths a fitted sheet and um i have pillows the pillows i have are pretty new so i'm not getting new ones Unless I want to. Maybe I will. I'll check the pills out when I get home. Um, or I can order the pills on Amazon like I did last time, which I'll probably do that instead. And I do owe you guys a whole Amazon and Wayfair shop. We will do that tonight. I promise. So, we have a thing of th a list of things to do. We're going to shop on Amazon tonight. Wayfair. We're going to place my Wayfair order. Some of the stuff should be in, like, maybe, like, tomorrow or Saturday. So, uh, we can put some of the stuff up. I'm going to order the couch tonight as well, too, because I wanted this really cute couch. So, I'm going to order it tonight. All right, I've been here talking too long and people are like driving by me, so. This is really, really cute. I might actually get this as a second storage in my bathroom for my makeup products and stuff. Um, or I can even just do something else with it, but I really, really like it. Really nice. It's only 60 bucks too. I was almost mad that I didn't get the one from over there. But this one is cheaper. And it has four compartments in it, so. And I just needed one of these for like my bathroom to put like my makeup and stuff in. Even though um, I am getting the same thing for the bedroom. But I need something for like my makeup products. So I think I'm going to get this one. And then I could put like a little mirror on top. I think. I don't know. I like these both. I like this one. Someone's actually cleaning right now, so I really can't even show you guys. So, oh, but I'm just hanging out for a few minutes just to kind of get my thoughts together and take some pictures for the stuff that I need to buy because I'm still confused. 
This is my boyfriend's office, and this is the view out here. She wasn't managing her anxiety and she was looking for total and subtotal and it wasn't there. She panicked and she didn't say, now wait a minute, which of these is closest to what I do know, right? Because it may not say it exactly the way you want it. Remember the guy with the cracker and the carbohydrate, dry carbohydrate? Uh -huh. you know, they'll say things differently than you learned them, but it means the same thing. If you see something on the test that says means the same as something you learned, but it's saying it differently, guess what? It is what you learned. Don't say, well, that sounds like the same thing, but I didn't learn it that way, so it's probably not that. Oh, that is the worst thing to do. You should do the opposite. You should say, that sounds an awful lot like what I learned, which was this. It's not the same phrasing, but it sounds like that, so it must be that. Do you see the difference? Yes. Always assume that if they tell you something synonymous, then it, it means the same as what you know. Don't assume it's something different. Always assume it's what you know. Okay. So for totals, totals need lifelong hormone replacement. Why? Because there's no thyroid. So if I take your whole thyroid out, you don't have it. So you gotta have lifelong hormone replacement. replacement. Also, letter B, you are at risk for hypocalcemia. Oh yeah, hypocalcemia. Why low calcium? Because when you take the thyroid gland. Why after a total thyroidectomy? The parathyroid glands. The parathyroid glands. Because it's almost impossible to spare the parathyroids when you take the whole thyroid out. Yeah. So you end up too many boxes. Oh, these are the large boxes. Heavy duty large. Alright guys, so we are waiting for the movie people to come. Um, we basically packed up all the boxes that we want them to take. We do, it's a whole bunch of mess in here, I'm sorry guys. So we do have the stuff that we are going to um, take ourselves like right here. So, yeah, they still will be here in 30 minutes. My boyfriend's helping bring some things down to start off, but we out. Movers are here. We have my boyfriend bought most of the stuff upstairs already, the bed frame, and a lot of this stuff. So, yeah, so we have three guys helping us, but we already did some of the work for them, so I don't want to hear no complaints. Let's get this. So this is our little empty apartment tour. Mini kitchen, guys, it's not as big as my last one. Don't really favor the white fridge, but that's fine. It does have a nice, deep, 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 a sink. It also has a full-size dishwasher. I have a half-size one, so 
a girl can appreciate a full size dishwasher. Um, obviously, I have everything there, but that's like a little eating area right there. And the center part here is the living room center. A TV, that Wi Fi is already there. That's my boyfriend's office. He has, we have a balcony, guys, small balcony. Um, this is my office here. It's a nice size as well, too. You can see the Empire State right there. It's a great, great view. Um, it's a big size, too. I just have my luggage and a little basket there. It does have double door closets, lots of storage. And like I said, this is the living room area where the couch is gonna be, TV against this wall, stuff, you know. Over here, I put this here, but it's not gonna be here. I just put it there, I don't know why. This is my, the guest bathroom or the regular bathroom, it's huge. Uh, toilet, little storage area. Me, um, right here, sink, tub. Not a big fan of the wallpaper, but it'll do. Then we have over here, which is the bedroom. We have most of our stuff. We do have a big closet, and I can fit my uh, drawer dresser in here. So we do have a mini dresser in here. We're gonna do shoe racks and then put like clothing rack um, hookups on the side and both walls but it's a huge guys like huge walk-in closet um, a little area here where I'm gonna put laundry baskets and supplies there's another bathroom here this is more shower wise where's the light Where yeah so more shower wise very cute simple and small And yeah, so this will be the bedroom. I don't know why the printer's in here, but the dresser will go against the wall, bed against this wall, a little chair in that corner, laundry bins and laundry bath, um, towels and stuff. The mirror will be put here, um, and then the closet. So this looks great. I feel like it's so nice. Hmm? So nice and I love it. Love it. All the stuff on the dolly. And did I mention how much I love garage parking? It's just so much easier. So we're putting in the stuff. We just went and bought some new sheets and stuff. And this is everything that was in my car that I bought brand new. So excited. So we empty the car out. That's the house. Bought the stuff from the car up here. You guys remember this from TJ Maxx. Who is texting? Um. Also, we bought, we don't know if, I don't even know if we're gonna keep this rug. I don't know why I have it. Um, like I said, this is me a little coffee stand and juicer and bar. So I got this, but first car, but first coffee and soon wine. I thought this was cute. Floating shelves for this area since it's just gonna be like a like a little dining table, coffee shop, and then the two bar stools that we have in storage will go here. So yeah. And I got these little, a planter, and then I'll probably put some throw blankets to that one. Coffee table, um, that nice little bookshelf, and that portrait will go against that wall over um, a piece of furniture, like an end table I'm buying off a of Wayfair that matches the TV, the TV scene that goes here. So the, both of them match. It's almost like this kind of like um, barney, barnwood type of color theme, whatever. So, um, yeah, so it's gonna be really cute. I have three baskets to put underneath it to kind of go with this aesthetic. And the picture will go up top. It's just really cute, just to bring the room together. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I bought it with me, but I kind of feel like, do I need it right there? I don't even, they don't even go. <sighs> Let's go eat, I'm hungry. I'm about to go get our seafood. And everything else, we got stuff from Target today. We did go ahead and pick up some new sheets and a really cute like set. So I got a new pillow, body pillow. Um, I got these sheets and he actually he actually picked this out. And then and I'm getting this really cute comforter set. You guys know we always go for like stripes, whites, grays. Um, but I thought this was really cute and simple. So I got this one to kind of go with ours. And obviously you guys know it's a black headboard. We have our dresser that's going to go against the wall there. 
have to buy a chair off of Wayfair. I'm not sure yet. Maybe I'll get off of Ikea from Ikea. And yeah. And I also did get, I need to turn the lights off in here. I also got this thing to um, put on the wall right here. So we're gonna do like a little design on this back wall because this bathroom is tighter. Obviously the other bathroom is bigger, but this is just me and Bay's bathroom. It's nobody else's, so. I'm gonna take this and put this up against the wall and put like our products in here, just basic stuff. Like instead of having the pills all out, I'm just gonna put the pills in, down here in like a box, but just do like the pill um, planner instead to make it easier. Put those up here with our regular products, um, toothbrush, toothpaste and stuff like that. Toilet paper will be up on that with a few plants and stuff like that, so. I feel like I got everything that I, I've been, this is like the second time I've been to Ikea. That's enough, I'm not going back. Literally, I feel like the warehouse, the one on Beard Street in Brooklyn, I don't really feel like they have a lot of stuff. I don't know if they're just remodeling the place, but it just, they never have like a lot. So I'm almost tempted to go to New Haven in Connecticut tomorrow and do it, but, and look at their Ikea, but it's Mother's Day tomorrow, so I'm probably not gonna do that. I'm definitely gonna see my mom tomorrow, stop by a few more stores just to take a last gander. Um, and I keep telling you guys, I've been saying this from the beginning of the week for this vlog. And this vlog was since last Friday all the way up until this Saturday. So it's a whole freaking long vlog. Um, not that much content was filmed, but you guys get the gist of it. But I was telling you guys since the beginning of the week that I'm gonna order stuff on Wayfair. I'm gonna order stuff on Wayfair. I have not ordered anything on Wayfair yet. I like, I'm weird. Like, I have to get other things and see if everything makes sense. Like, I'm just so freaking weird and I hate returning stuff so. I wanted to really make sure I was getting what I really wanted or what I felt like was nice. So me and my boyfriend talked, we went through all the stuff. So tonight I'll be placing my order on Wayfair. <laughs> Finally. Um, so the couch won't be here till like the 21st, but I'm, I'm gonna be gone by that time. I'm, I'm on vacation like in two weeks. So my boyfriend will have to put the couch together and whatever. Everything else will be here next week, like this stuff, like the laundry stuff, uh, the end table, the TV stand. I also have two other little kind of chairs to order from Target, but those take like two days to come in, so I'll order those chairs on Monday. But everything else from Wayfair I'm gonna order tonight. Like I kept saying to you guys this entire week, but I wanted to give myself time to see if everything was going to look good. So, um, so far when I put everything in that, you know, everything looking pretty fly, you know? It's not set up yet, but the way I kind of envision things is kind of falling into place, so. Um, yeah, and then I, I've been stuck trying to find two-seater table and chair. A two-seater chair and a table for me and my boyfriend, like a little dining area because the apartment has a lot of space. It even has like a little dining area. So I wanted to make sure I got the correct type of style, but I'm, I know, realize now I'm gonna get a circle table with two chairs. I just don't know if I want it in black or white. <laughs> I'm just gonna get in black and stop playing around. And I don't, I didn't want four chairs. I didn't want it to be too, like too much going on. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible, but it's starting to seem like I, I can only get, no, I'm gonna just, I don't know. You guys will see what I ordered tonight. It's been a freaking headache trying to figure this out, like literally, so, yeah. But as you guys can tell, I, and then let me tell you guys something. I woke up at six o'clock this morning. I hung out for like maybe like 30 minutes to 45 minutes and I went right back to sleep. I didn't wake up till almost 11 o'clock. I am exhausted. Like I've been, I like had, y'all don't even understand how much content, how many sponsored uh, trying hauls I have. And trying hauls are not easy to do, like. <laughs> I stayed up on Thursday till about like 11 o'clock in the morning trying to finish filming. Only filming it. I still have not even edited the video yet. I am exhausted guys, but I'm so blessed and so happy to have this apartment. To have finally gotten the keys, got my fob to my garage parking, everything. So I'm happy that it's done with. Just have to exit this house and get everything in order. But so far so good. And I'm excited because I'm going away in two weeks. Yeah, I go away in two weeks, so I can't wait for another. It's a four night stay, nice tropical island relaxation. I really need this. All right, I gotta clean up. So we're gonna um, 
clean the kitchen, clean the keys. Okay, so I got the dishwasher rolling right now. I I'll realize I only need to do like two washes. So I decided to put all like the glass, look at this damn thing. <laughs> So I to put it, decided to put all like the Pyrex stuff, the measuring cups and all the glass stuff in here, including the plates. And then I have my appliances in here. I got my Power XL um, air fryer, which I do clean. I do have my uh, crock pot right there to my nice size crock pot. I also did take my seasoning rack because I'm actually going to um, hook this up on the wall near my... Um, my stove so that it's easier for me to just grab it off the wall so I decided to keep it I'm gonna punch holes into the wall and then have it hook up on the wall from here clean it up and get like spices organized spices and stuff so I could have it real cute up there I was gonna do the containers that I had before but I realized that I can literally just go to Trader Joe's get all my seasons from Trader Joe's and those really cute little containers and just put them on there so I'm gonna do a whole new grocery shop so we're gonna do a, a brand new apartment grocery shop haul with a lot of healthy stuff so we'll do that in another vlog so that's gonna be exciting because you guys know I love to shop for food so we're gonna go to Trader Joe's and do it up and go to BJ's as well so that'll be in uh, next week's vlog but for this vlog this week we're just packing I also did go ahead and wash my um, deep fryer put her hung her up dry I also did go ahead and hand wash scrub it up my George Foreman my mini George Foreman and also my mini waffle maker as well too so I'm basically just cleaning everything up really nicely before I come to the new house um, I could use a dishwasher at the other house because the dishwasher at the other house is two times my baby dishwasher here but I figured let me just wash it here everything here and then pack it and then go so these will go to the new house tomorrow and yeah so I'm already starting half. I should be done. It takes an hour and 15 minutes to run it, and I'm going to do another batch for an hour and 15 minutes. You can kind of adjust the time depending on your wash. And yeah, so we are. All right, guys. So I am about to head out right now. It is Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to everyone. Um, I have this dress from Hot Miami Style. It was the only item that I had here. I have no clothes here other than a pair of sweatpants and leggings. So I decided to go ahead and put this dress on that was still here. Um, so it's really cute from Hot Miami Styles. It is definitely uh, ba -ba -ba body forming. Um, got my Louis. Um, I also have this little crop jacket from Forever 21. Y'all know I don't wear makeup like that on regular days because my skin needs to get its life together so I'm not doing makeup and plus I'm going on vacation in two weeks so I need to make sure my skin is optimal um, so I'm just chilling on that I got my jewelry on I did put some press on nails on I had one pack of these um, LA color ones um, so I put these on and yeah so this is my look I gotta let this spot dry I had like a little stain on here so yeah so that is that and I got some these sneakers are from super dry and they also came with the hat as well too or sent to me from super dry which is a cool little company the stuff that I got from them is actually really nice like so that's today's look super casual with a little bit of a boom. Oh, the master class one has them too. With this beautiful design. Look, they have these too. These little cheese Oh, master classes. Look. Damn, look at these in this one. Mm -hmm. Dara, I'll call you back. Bye. How much is that one? $20? 20 bucks. Wow, Marshalls. You done did it again. How much is that? Oh, is that one? Oh, that's one inch. It's the same one as this one. What's the difference between this one? This is high, uh, high heat. Fast heat up. That's dope. So I decided to get these for like the bathroom to suction against the wall, the window, the mirror. Makes it easier. Oh, damn, look at these are actually closed. Well, I think I'm gonna get these instead. All right, guys. I am in the building right now. I have gotten most of the stuff on the trolley. So, we are about to head upstairs to the apartment. 
Good morning, guys. Good, Good morning. morning, guys. So we are in the elevator bringing this stuff up. I'm gonna take like three trips from the house and go to Ikea to pick up this rug that I want. But here we go. I do have a video to edit, to send, so I'm gonna do that when I get back to the house. And we're gonna do another shipment. This is really early, it's like 7.40, so. All right, guys, so I'm so proud of myself that I got all this stuff up on here. I was a little worried in the beginning that the stuff was not gonna fit, but I was able to get it to fit. So I'm just gonna unload some of the things. I bought stuff like, you know, a new plant. I do have like a lot of plants at the house, but. I want to get a new one. Oh, got it right now. So I'm gonna try to separate the things out um, according to where I need it. You guys know this is my office. So pretty much put uh, all the things office. I'm gonna separate the boxes into rooms. And yeah, so we still haven't even put the bed together. My boyfriend, obviously, and when he gets off of work today, he's gonna put the bed together, so. <laughs> Ooh, child. It's a nice cloudy day in New York City today. But, um, yeah, I'm tired of sleeping on that pump-up bed at the house. Like, I'm just done. I'm ready to just come sleep here. So once the bed is set, then we good. Like, we just need to set the bed up. And I have, like, a few more things, like my mirror and stuff that I'm going to try to... What I'm going to do by myself today is try to bring all the small stuff. And then he'll just bring, like, the big boxes. It's like my Keurig and all that kind of stuff I put in a box. And that box is super heavy, so I need him to bring it, um... Yeah, so this is an apartment. Like, I absolutely love this apartment. I don't know something about it. Like, I just don't know how to explain to you guys. But I absolutely love it. Like, it is super cloudy in New York City. Love the view. You guys, you guys don't understand. I love this. Like, I just love, 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 love this view. Like, amazing. So, and my boyfriend's office is a nice size. I'm gonna show you guys, there's the balcony right there. So, obviously, we have a grill. And that's another thing, we have to go get the grill. So we have to clean the grill out tonight. And the grill will go like in the corner right there. And we do have like a table and two chairs. I didn't even realize how big it was, so. And that table right there is like our gaming table when friends come over, like we like to do like games, like, you know, bear, pot, bear cup and so, what's it called, bear cup? Whatever, you know what I mean. Um, so I'll probably just have to move that to the side just to kind of make it look like a little bit more pleasing. Um, but the two chairs and the table, like the cute one and the grill could fit out there, so that's great. And um, we might jump this because my boyfriend doesn't want it anymore. So don't ask me about this. I, I don't know why I bought that. It's got to go. I don't know what to do with this. But yeah, so I think I'm going to start hanging stuff up as well, too, just because they're here. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, and here, I forgot to mention, these are the same style of this one. However, and look at how dusty this is. However, this one is like the white kind uh the white like wash or gray wash white wash so i'm not gonna put that in here or will i because this one kind of matches this white um on the back of this one and then i can take these and put this one in the bedroom but then again the bedroom i don't know so now i'm kind of confused because i didn't realize that i might actually just use that one because it's kind of like goes with like the whole wood look i guess i don't know but these are from TJ Maxx Marshalls, whatever, they're only $20, and they work so good. You could I put candles in it, like, and I also put, um, I put candles in, like, a plant or something in it. So they look so good when you kind of, like, hang them up. I bought a really cute little two, a chair, two chairs and a table dining set for right here, nothing too big, with a nice little rug. And then I have two bar, um, bars, um, chairs that go there, so it'll just be... A little table and chair, a nice plant right there, some stuff on the wall. Um, I wanted to keep it simple and not junk it up because I just I just can't deal with that. And I did show you guys this yesterday. Bro, this was only 15 oh my god, it was sixteen dollars at uh Marshall's and I'm telling you guys the hot tools. This is the one that Danny has. I have the one and a quarter uh no one and three quarter inch is it? I don't know, one and a quarter inch one, but I decided to get the one inch one. Like, these give you the best curls, trust me. I also, let me show you guys. So I kept it pretty basic this time. I was buy two, get two free. So I just wanted to get like fresh set ones. So I got um, the Endless Weekend. This one actually smells, it's not focusing. This one actually smells really good. I was looking for more fresh smells, so I wanted to get something like this. And then I also, I got two of those. And then I also got, this right here, the vanilla birch. It has like this fresh kind of like new home smell. So I was kind of going for all like the new homey smells instead of going for like the fruity ones. Sometimes the fruity ones give me headaches. I also got the rose water and ivy. This is for the bathroom. So I'm gonna put these in the bathrooms. 
And then I also got the sun drenched linen. I might actually put the sun drenched linen in the bathroom. Yeah, I might do this in the bathroom and then these out here and the this one in the bedroom. Because this one smells really, really good. So this will go in the bedroom. And if I find some other candles, I'll pick them up. But you guys will see when I do that. But I definitely am going to go back and get this rug at Ikea today because I love it. And I realize that it will look really nice in the middle right here. So I'm going for it. I know I got my pants back last week. And I'm looking real slow to tell. I don't know what's going on. But I got my shorts back and my jeans back last week. He did an excellent job. So I'm so happy because I'm going back to him this week to bring back. I need to bring two pants I got from Zara that I love. That I have not worn yet because they're too big in the back on the waist. But guys, so this is this is the waist now. Like he really brought your girl. Who's texting me? Oh, that's a um, promotion. Um, and look at the back, guys. He closed me in. He cl guys, he closed me in. My butt looking flat with these. But he closed me right up in back here. So you guys see there is no gaping area in the back anymore he closed it up so now i get to wear these shorts for free lee guys look at that and i need this i'm on a vacation in a few weeks so i'm like i need my clothes to be good so try these on i'm so happy so i'm gonna bring um two pairs of zara jeans to him and um i have another pair of shorts that i want him to close in just a little bit so i'm so happy that these came out so good so he finally closed back so the back of these shorts is tight now so if you ever want to do it guys if you have that issue where your pants your shorts and your jeans just don't fit correctly i have bro this mirror is dope by the way but um i have a solution so let me go ahead and try one of my american eagle jeans on so i can show you guys what that looks like all right guys i'm on the phone with darn dan hopefully they don't make a lot of noise but here is the pair of american eagle jeans that i got now these are super high are they high waisted i don't know if they're super high waisted but i get my jeans in a size eight i think these are eight yeah size eight from american eagle finally can fit a size eight girl <laughs> I get eight i think i get size eight from i think i got a 10 or eight from zara so your girl <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking slim today, but these are the pants. So these, he definitely fixed that part of the bag. Look at that. Weird. Like, come on. Like, he fixed this one so good, guys. Like, there is no gaping. You guys don't see any of that gaping back there. Look at that. He hooked me up. He hooked me up. He hooked me up. I'm gonna have to take some more jeans then because he hooked me all the way up. Like, I paid $48 for six of my two pairs of shorts and four pairs of jeans. It's a good deal, y'all. Like, look at, and it, there's no, like, you guys should do it. If you have problems with, like, your waist area and the jeans giving you that gaping area in the back, go ahead and get them to fix that up for you. You could do it by yourself, but I was gonna do that. So I paid somebody to do it, and he did a good job. Be. All right, guys, I'm about to be out, so really quickly show you guys what I'm thinking. So this mirror it was the one I was standing kind of like where the bar cart was at my own apartment. I was going to color it, but I'm not doing all that. It's a really nice mirror, so I'm going to take this mirror and pop it up here to cover the box. I already tested it out. It's perfect. I just need to get the screws. So this area is done. Um, it is basically like this stuff right here. I'll be putting like towels for guests and stuff because this bathroom is technically my filming bathroom and my bathroom when I do my makeup and stuff like that but it is also considered the guest bathroom as well too when people come and stay over so um i just put like little i'm gonna put like little towels and stuff i already bought stuff keep it real clean and fresh put a little plant in it and the mirror is gonna go up top um my office i realized like i said i'm not gonna rush this because i have to order a lot of stuff i have to order a wardrobe i also have to order a couch but i want to make sure i pick out a nice couch right here i do want a couch because i like to sit and edit sometimes i don't really like the chair i decided to keep the rug i'm frugal and i'm gonna keep my stuff and make it work so i am going to get a very small size desk i'm thinking about getting a clear desk now and a nice simple chair with the back. I cannot do the stools anymore that I had, so I'm tossing the school stools in the garbage. So I'm gonna get a nice kind of like full back chair. I was gonna get with wheels, but the wheels just don't work. So I'm just gonna get a single chair, nice with a clear back and then like a clear desk, maybe. Um, like I said, that is my rack for my business. So when I do the labels and stuff, um, I'll show you guys when I unbox all the stuff that I have for like when I make, when I have like a sale. Um, obviously this will be like, I always put this up there with my YouTube plaque and stuff like that. Keep that. I ain't changing it. I got my little portrait that I always put up so femme, so cute. 
Um, and yeah, so on this side of the room, like I said, I will be doing wardrobe and the nice couch. Um, I have the whole floor to film. I have this entire area. Even when I close the door back, I have this entire area to film too, so it's enough space. Um, the mayor, the picture's going there. My boyfriend, like, I knew he was going to have, like, he's going to be like, that's, oh, sorry guys, that's super curly, but whatever, boy. <laughs> like, whatever. This is the only picture in here. I was like, just let me have this one. Like, let me have it in this room. And he's like, all right. So, um, I have an end table coming that matches the, um, the TV stand that's going there. So, you guys will see how it comes out. I also did go ahead and set this up. This is a boiler room right here, guys. Um, so, don't even pay attention to that. It's just there. It's just a door. I call it just a door. Um, so that's the little stand. Perfect. Fits nice. If you want to charge your phone, just slide it right there on the side. So I didn't have to touch that. It did a great. Um, I was thinking about putting something up there, but you don't really have to. Like, I don't have to. I feel like once everything comes in, it's not necessary for me to put anything else on the wall. I think that works fine. I do have this really cute hanging shelf thing that's coming here that I'm going to put here. Um, but that mainly is going to have, like, pictures and stuff like that. So I really, like, I really need to get that. And I think it's going to be so cute. It's almost the same kind of theme like that, but this one is straight hanging with... Um, like a lot of greenery, so I got I picked it off of Amazon, so um, it should be here soon. I'll set it up. That one's gonna be like on this wall, which is gonna give you more like fun, and yeah. But obviously, once this mirror goes up, you guys, it trust me, so cute. Um, uh, yeah, and I was thinking about returning this, but then I said to myself, "Don't do it, girl. Keep it." So I'm gonna keep this. I just have to figure out. I think no, I am keeping because I did figure out how I'm gonna set this up. So, um, I have two other really nice, like, fashion esque type of portraits. So, that's what I want to keep kind of like that wardrobe area, kind of luxe looking with, like, you know, these nice, kind of like upscale type of portraits. So, that's how I'm going to set up. I'm going to keep this. So, I'm going to actually keep this because the idea that I have, it should come through the way I want. So, um, the wardrobe, the white wardrobe is going to go right here, and then I'm going to just do two of the portraits there, and then one right here, and then just like a little basket or something here on the, I'm pointing on the bottom here. So I'm going to keep it uh, because that corner is going to be really, really cute, guys. And then obviously the corner I do here um, where the couch is going to be is going to be really nice. I'm going to put a big plant right here on the, on the edge, a big plant, and then have a nice little sitting area. Uh, yeah, so... That's about it. I was about to throw you, I was about to return you, but something is telling me no. And I really, really like you, so I'm gonna keep you. All right. I did bust some of the boxes open because um, I need to grab some clothes. Just got something basic today crop top, Adidas sweatpants, and my puffer jacket. I'm probably just gonna wear my sandals today, period. Because it's not gonna rain, it's just cloudy. Um, I decided to go ahead and put this. Um, this a uh, wicker um, platter here. I'm gonna get a real plant. I'm trying to get two real big plants, or yeah, two. So the one of them will go here, but I just need to, you know, figure that out. You guys saw this. That'll be set up there, and then that you guys will see. I'm gonna get a small wicker rug, like a, it's not really soft, and then put the dining table set I got here. It's gonna look fucking amazing. So yeah, so. I'm now going to head back to the house, hang out a little bit, and I'm going to go bring some more stuff back here. And then hopefully this week, by Friday, I can get a little bit of stuff. A lot of packages are coming in this week, so hopefully by um, Friday, you guys can see a little bit of the reveal. I am going to put the rug down today once we move these boxes and get all these clothes out of these boxes and stuff. So you guys will see the rug later. And I'm going to order the wicker chairs from Target, so at least I can get those by Friday and we can sit on the chairs or something. But... The TV stand and the end table will definitely be here by Friday. So those, I'm going to call Ra Task Rabbit and have somebody come on Thursday or Friday to put both of them up. And we can watch TV here and stuff. So that will be dope. I absolutely love how it's going to come out. Like, trust me. When y'all see the little end table on this, and I have like three wicker baskets to go underneath it, bitch. So I'm heading back out now. I'm going home. And yeah, I think I showed you guys. I got these things yesterday, or well, the other day. I got this one from Ikea. I got my a new board. And I did get some Masterclass. I love, yo, this is, they have the best pots. So, and after I go, after I go to the house, I have a video to edit and send to a brand. I am going to head to um, Home Goods again in Queens and then 
um, pick out the pots because yesterday I wanted to get it somewhere else. I made a mistake. I ended up going to another store and they didn't have them. So I should have got them at the original store. So I'm going to go to Home Goods now and see if they have it here. Or I'll just have to go to Connecticut on Friday and get them. But all in all, um, yeah. So I'm going to do the Masterclass ones. These are nonstick. And baby, the pots. I'm going to get three pots. You guys are going to see the three pots I get. And it's just, that's all I need. Just those three pots and I'm good. So I'm so excited. This is coming along. It's just gonna take me a little bit of time. But. All right, guys, so I just made another run here. So I bought the plant here. I actually ended up putting this plant right into um, the plotter that I got at um, TJ Maxx, you know, Home Goods. And it looks so cute. My rug, I ordered the rug last night, so you guys will see the rug. And then the dining table comes on Friday. So I'll set that up. And then put my appliances. I do have to go get my two bar stools from the storage, but I'll do that probably on Friday. Um, uh, what else did I bring? I bought those wicker baskets because my end table comes in, um, I believe, Thursday. So I'm going to set the... I, I get the, the TV stand today, and then I get the end stand, the end table on Thursday. So I'll have um, Task Rapid come and do both of them. Uh, they actually match it from the same brand. It's kind of like a barn house or like kind of like a brown color... Uh, what do you call it? Rustic barn wood? Whatever. It's the same kind of style as that right there, that color. And I'll put the three baskets underneath it with stuff, you know, make it cute and fash. And on top of it, I'll just put some really simple candles and stuff uh, in the picture on top. Um, yeah, so that is that. I bought that plant with the plotter as well, too. Um, what else did I bring? I just brought... My makeup and stuff. I am going to Ikea now to pick up a rug, my desk, and my chair. Um, I did put this in here. Dan and Dar on the phone right there talking to me. I did bring this one from the old house, but Ikea has one that's like, um, it's about like $50. And it's a nice kind of brown color that matches this brown and the sink. So it's only like $50. I'll have to put it together. Or I can just get the guy from Tash Rabbit to just do all three pieces. Um, which I probably will. So I I bought this with me for now. I'm going to go back to Ikea and look to see if they have it. And then I'll probably get that one instead because that one was more like it was, it looked better. This one's a little bit of an eyesore. So, um, but I kept it because you know I don't like throwing stuff out. So here's me for today. We got our American Eagle Gens on. What? Oh, it was a little bit of light. Let me, pull, let me open some light up. So I have my American Eagle jeans on. The ones that he did a great job with. I have the same crop top that I had on yesterday. Yes, I do. Jean jacket from Forever 21. And let me show you guys. Like, I'm telling you guys, he did such a good job. So, yeah. And then I also have my white kicks. So this is really dumb. I'm back at Ikea, guys. And I found this chair right here. $96.99. This is probably the cheapest one I found. It's actually really, really comfortable. But I don't like the legs. So I'm probably going to have to make the legs black. But it's so comfortable. Let me show you guys. It's so comfortable. show you guys myself today hey guys i've been walking my bald head this entire two days 
It is Tuesday today, guys. Happy Tuesday. Did a little shopping. So I ended up picking the rug that I showed you guys a few days ago, and I also got a desk and a chair. So I got my office supplies, meaning my office desk and chair. Everything else I'll be ordering in like a few weeks. I'm leaving, so I just wanted to get the office desk and chair up so that I can uh, film content, stuff like that. So I got that out the way just now. Um, yeah, so what I'm about, oh, I figured that out. I'm just talking to myself. So what I'm about to do right now is grab something to eat. I'm gonna head back to the house. I have a premiere tonight at 8.30, so I have some time. I have to start editing the vlog for tomorrow. So I'm on time with everything this week, so all the videos are lining up the way they're supposed to. And like I said, I'm doing the vlogs now from Friday to Friday, so you guys will see what I do. Well, I guess, no, Monday to Friday. Or Monday to Monday. Yeah, I'm doing Monday to Monday, I guess. I don't know. So you guys look at the week, the vlog now. It's just a whole horse. I'm gonna, sh I actually showed you guys in the vlog this week, uh, the unfurnished apartment tour. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. All right guys, so I'm back at the new apartment. It's so quiet in here. Um, I'm gonna have to run back to the house real quick because I have to get my laptop and stuff because I'm gonna set my desk up. Um, and I have a premiere tonight at 8.30, so I wanna um, just put the magic links, links down below. And I also wanna do two lectures. So while I'm setting up the table, I'm gonna like do the review lecture from last, uh, the other day. So I'm just gonna go over and then start the new lecture. You guys know my test is coming up in like less than three weeks. So um, I try to study every day at this point. So um, I still need to listen to some more lecture. So um, I got these two right here, which are these um, covers. I have the pillows right there, the denim one. The denim denim one is my favorite so I decided to keep the denim one sorry guys the lights are not on over there they're only on over here I did not turn them on but you guys seen these denim ones in my apartment previously so I got these from Ikea I love the denim and I still feel it kind of goes with the whole theme so I'm going to keep the two denim there was always there was also this striped one but I'm just going to take the that one off I did get this one as well this burnt orange color just goes well with the theme I'm going with um so i went and got this one as well too so it has kind of like these little black and white thread areas and the little pom-poms at the end it's kind of like an off-white kind of like um taupey tan color so it's really pretty so i thought that went well too so i'm gonna do two two and leave the denim ones i also just got a plain cutting board for um i got i got this one yet the other day at ikea this one I, I'm not sure which I'm going to cut the meat on. I think I'm probably going to cut the meat on the plastic because um, it's kind of hard to get that bacteria out of the wood just because it seeps into the wood. So I think like cutting meat wise, like chicken or whatever, I'm going to use the plastic because this is easier to bleach and you know you're going to like probably 99% of the time get all the bacteria out. So that's the idea. I did get two of these, two new ones. Fresh, so fresh. Love these. Um, and I did go ahead and get some of these so I can start putting up some of the wall art like today um and also the tv stand came in so the color that it got is called the reclaimed barnwood color it's kind of similar to the whole theme going on guys sorry the lights are off so we got this and i also did get the rug so the rug is not that short it's pretty long so we did get the rug well yeah and um yeah so once the chair comes in on, well, it doesn't even matter if the chair doesn't come in. I'm gonna have, once the end table pops up on Thursday, I believe it's coming, or maybe tomorrow, I'm just gonna call um, Task Rabbit to come and uh, assemble both of them and um, put the TV on it and just like watch TV Indian style down here. And I'll put the rug down, leave the coffee table in the middle, and kind of like assemble everything. I do still wanna order these two chairs from Target, but the chairs cost like a, uh, a buck ninety a pop. So I'm still like contemplating, do I wanna get them? Oh, did I tell you guys I did this already? Maybe I did tell you guys this. So I wanna set this up, it looks freaking cute. Like y'all y'all kinda of see the theme, right? It's just like, you know, real naturally, chicy, hippie, boho, chic type of vibes. I love that kind of vibes. So, yeah. So, that is everything that I got today. Um, obviously it was still expensive because that rug was like 200 bucks. Uh, <clears throat> And yeah, and there goes that. Say I put those three baskets. I did put those three baskets up there. So now, oh, I didn't even show you guys. That was not all I got. Doy. All right, so I did go ahead and pick out a chair, 
and a desk. I already saw the desk. I, re I researched this like yesterday, so I kind of knew. I wanted something simple. I did not throw the gray rug away because it still kind of matches that. And the, ta the chair and table is clear. So it's just going to kind of be like real modern and just regular on this side. But I wanted to get it today because it'll motivate me to kind of like, you know, set it up. I saw someone on YouTube. She set this up and it took her 30 minutes to set it up. Uh, hopefully the instructions are simple. This is a desk that I got though. It's clear, it's white, has a clear top, but obviously the white, the base is white, and my chair is clear. So, wanted something very simple. You can see the circle is like really small. I got this from Ikea like last year. So the the circle rug is small. Gray matches my little workbench or like my um yeah my business bench. I call it my business my business corner over there, and um, it'll go together with that. So I'm gonna come back and set this up. And then probably like, you know, re-clean that, upload it's a little dusty, and organize my makeup on that because that's where my makeup's gonna go on this little black thing right here, which was in the bathroom. I did bring my diva ring light, so I'm probably gonna start filming tomorrow and I'm gonna organize my clothes and stuff like that. So I still have other stuff to order for the office, guys, but I'm not ordering that stuff till I come back from Aruba because I wanna just relax and enjoy my freaking trip. So, yeah. That's enough talking, guys. Um, I'm about to head on now and go get my laptop. I'm so proud of myself that I've been on top of recording. I've just been on it, bitch, boy. And I didn't even show you guys I got wine glasses. This was at the checkout, so I picked up four wine glasses. I mean, four. So this was at the checkout. So I forgot to show you guys this one. This one was at the checkout. I ended up getting this one in six wine glasses. Nothing too crazy, it was like 15 bucks. So it was, I actually forgot to get it downstairs and then when I remembered I was like, I forgot. So I picked this one, I was at the checkout, perfect. Just six and that's it. We literally don't even, I didn't even keep that many cups and stuff like that. I kept a lot of our coffee cups, mason jars and stuff like that and a few drinking cups left. Yeah, so I'm gonna head back to the house right now. Um, I just gotta pick up my book bag with my cameras in it and my laptop and that stuff and it's two portraits that I have that I want. So. I thought there was no lights on me about the same. All right guys, so I just came back from Home Goods. Now I got the master class ones. I told you guys I was replacing the flat ones that I have for new ones. So I got um, the master class skillet, which is a small size one like that. I also got a wok to do like stir fried vegetables and stuff. This works really good. It heats up very quickly, guys. So if you like, you know, stir fried vegetables, if you're doing keto, it's just a quick way, quick way to make your veggies and get a nice crisp. And I also got this one. This is more of like a, a deeper one. So I can do like a lot of like chicken stews and stuff in here. It's deeper, so it's, you know, better. I also have a small pot one and you guys know I kept my Dutchie. So that's all I really need. I just needed one, two, Three. And then I also got this Gorilla. This one, just using for maybe like when I do like my jerk chicken and stuff, just if I want to get the lines on it, I'll put it on here. If I'm doing like turkey burgers, I'll put it on here. So that's basically what I wanted. And if you guys remembered, I showed you guys these. These kind of go with it. I kind of feel like the one at the Home Goods in Connecticut. I mean, TJ Maxx is kind of similar, but it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to kind of go for like the same kind of theme color, I guess, with the pasta. So it was like this natural color and then like the black. So I guess I did well. They also had these um, nice candles at Home Good. So I smelled it. It smells like really, really like good. My hand is so ashy, by the way. So it's called Onyx and it smells really, really good. So I got two of these for the bedroom um, to put in the little. Um, you know, the little cage thing. So this will go in the bedroom right now. I also did get this right here, tape and sticker lifter because they left a little tape and stickers right here. So I'm not gonna have that because I need to put my, my you know, season rack right here. So I need this gone. So I'm gonna remove that myself with this. I found this at Home Goods for three bucks. It can't be that. And then I also found this, which is just random, but I've actually had this before, the roasted garlic and parsley linguine. It tastes so good. Like just with butter and garlic, it would be really good. Um, it's like actual flavor pasta. If you can go to Home Goods and find this, I highly recommend this one. I did this one with like turkey bolognese before and it was off the easy 
felt cheesy. Like the flavors were all the way there. So that's basically all I got. Just some new pots and I, my sister's been using these and you guys know I love my non-sticks. So I definitely needed one new one. Um, if I could find another flat long one, I mean this is fine, this is perfectly fine. Um, this is big enough for me to make my eggs, chicken sausage, and turkey steak. And so that's all I was really looking for, something a nice size, small, and clean. Is the finished look of the desk and um, the chair now with this one they did it kind of awkward so I had to go ahead I'm missing a few nails by the way I had to use double-sided tape to make this stay down because they didn't punch the holes in it but it's fine just my little um, mouse is gonna go there it's very basic you can put a laptop or desktop on it I'll probably do my desktop mainly and then laptop when I need to use it but it's pretty sturdy I've seen people put their iMac on here with no issues, so I'm just going to put my iMac on here. Hopefully the iMac can stay in here. Yeah, it can. It's pretty sturdy. So I'll just put the iMac on here, and that's that. And then sometimes when I use my laptop, I use my laptop on here. But it's super cute. The gray rug went well, and obviously the gray there. Um, I was attempting to hang something up, but the nails, I need thicker nails or thumbtacks. Thumbtacks work, work really well if you put like two or three in a slot. So I'll try um, thumbnails, but I have to go get some um, hanging screws. Do you have my calendar? That, those, that's so old. Um, yeah, so that's it. So I can actually start working and actually sit in the chair. The chair is actually flexible as well too, so it's comfortable. So that's basically, I thought it was gonna take me longer than that. I did realize that my rug and my dining room table set has actually been delivered. So I'm gonna go downstairs and pick that up and set the dining room table up and then the, the rug because they're both here. It's actually, I think I'm actually getting three things today. Another thing is a coat rack that's going there, which um, I'll set up as well too. The table shouldn't take that long, so I'll probably do that one first. And it's gonna look so cute. So it's coming together. Just have to put my two stools here. Probably put them there on Friday. Um, yeah, so that is that. And I don't know if I showed you guys this already, but I did go ahead and put these up. So it looks so cute. I have a little candle burning, the rose water and ivy candle burning. So it came out so, so cute over here. Like it's perfect, not too much. Um, obviously liquor will go down on the bottom rack right there. And I do have like a few, well, that's it for the cups. Uh, well. Uh, I'll have maybe like a few more cups there and then like down below will be like the drinks So once we get some bottles popping, maybe a bottle of champagne Maybe I'll get a bottle of champagne or two today and I'll go down there and then like I said the two chairs will be here So um, I do I didn't realize that These don't come with the actual like strings on it like the ones in the bedroom do so for this one I'm definitely gonna have to get some really good um nails to put in the wall um, I realize it'll go really nicely I'm not gonna put it too close I'll put the small one there and the larger one there I'm just putting these flower these candles in there the vanilla birch one this one smells really really good so I'm gonna put the vanilla birch ones in there with a uh, assorted plant or whatever nothing crazy and it's gonna be in both of them and it just looks really good it brings the room together but once I put the rug on the ground you guys will see how it really wraps everything in and I'm not sure if I showed you guys, but this is the rug I got yesterday. So this is done. I just need to order two more chairs and then we are finished with the decor. Like as far as um, living room, dining room, bathrooms, and bedroom is done. So yeah. So I'll show you guys the finished look. 
in like an hour or two because I still have a lot of right, so I am back home so I ended up getting the table and chair set they came in also the end table that matches that uh tv stand came in too so i'm gonna have someone from task rabbit do this maybe tomorrow i can actually have them do it tomorrow evening so i have someone come in from task rabbit to do both of them unless my boyfriend decides to do it um i also got the rug today as well too um so i'm gonna actually set up the rug and the dining set myself because i don't think it's gonna be that hard and then i did go to target as you guys saw so at Target, I got Allegra per usual because I actually ran out, so I really need it. I'm about to take it now, as a matter of fact. I got some cheddar popcorn. I also got like a mixed drink, like a carrot, a carrot and strawberry drink. I have not eaten anything all day. I need to order something to eat, like seriously. Focus. Whatever. I also did get, I showed you guys that I got um, the Glade, the Gladder Glade, um, the refill packs. I also I already have two, so I'm just going to plug those in. I also got the small spaces from Febreze. I got the Gain scent. I showed you guys this. I thought these were good, so I'm going to put these in the bathroom. They, I heard they smell really, really good. I did get some lotion. This is the best lotion for dry skin, so I got the Advanced Repair for very dry skin, since I'm always very dry. Um, I got some mouthwash. I also got um, some of these so I can hang up some portraits. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to basically be putting things up today most of the day or oh, the evening since it's 5 o'clock now. So I'm going to do this. I also got um, a paper plates and a mix of fork, spoons, and knives for the house. I didn't get cups, but we have cups. I'm going to have myself a glass of wine because I just had, I just went to the liquor store. So I'm going to get myself a glass of wine. Wayfair, I need some explanation right now. I literally just unrolled this rug, guys, and when I hit the stick, a roach came flying out of the stick. I need answers, Wayfair, because I don't know what the hell that I'm not now. I'm nervous. Like, literally, guys, a roach came flying out of the, the stick. Now, you know how the, the rug is wrapped into that little stick in a roll? I had to take the roll and the stick and, and put it outside. I was so scared. Like what? Bro, I'm like I'm like a little bit like, you know, like jittery right now. Like what? Like lit, the roach literally like flew out of the stick and tried to run and escape and I just kind of had to end its life. No, I'm scared. Like nah, bro. I don't I don't do well with bugs at all. That make, that's making me really nervous. <laughs> Guys, there goes the cockerel. I, I'm pretty sure is that. A, I'm pretty sure that was a roach. Like, look at that. Everybody's seen a roach in their life. Come on now. But I'm pretty sure that was a cockroach. I, I had to hit it like a 50 times. It was super strong and powerful. Like, I had to hit this motherfucker like two, three times. He was running, bro. He literally like sprung out of the thing. Like, just boop. I'm out. Nah. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go get some spray or something. Now I'm, now I'm scared. I don't know if he left his little cousins or anything. But this is the rug. I'm, sh I'm gonna have to leave a way for a message about that. Like, y'all got me fucked up. Like y'all got me fucked up. Why did a roach just come out of the, 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 the cone for the? Why did a, no? Why did a roach just come out of the, out of the um, rug? I. I, I checked under the rug. I'm, I'm scared. 
I don't like literally he flew out of the thing. Like I'm I'm shoof, child. It's happy Thursday. So I'm actually at the old apartment. Um, you can see both of the rooms are clear. There's just a mattress there. We haven't slept there in a while. Um, so I just need to uh, get this box, this and those two boxes in my car. The desktops, the IMAX, they'll be going to um, Apple tomorrow. So I'm going to take them with me to Connecticut. So I need to get them serviced anyway. So I'm going to take both of them to Apple. Uh, the couch will be thrown out tomorrow. I'll figure out someone to get rid of the couch. Um, the TV stand's going in the garbage. The table's coming. My boyfriend's going to take the table. And both TVs are coming with. So I'm just, what I'm going to do now is basically take the heavy boxes that I need. And then I'm going to clear out the fridge, clear everything, clean the oven. This will take me, the entire thing will take me about like an hour. Because I'm just throwing everything in the garbage. So I'm just going to go stand on the st uh, footstep and just pull all the trash, or I mean all the food in the cabinets into a bag. The plates, I'm only keeping two sets of each just because it's me and my boyfriend I notice I like to clutter a lot and keep too much thing too many things so um, I'm gonna take my obviously my um, my powders from Bellaway and then two plates two bowls that and that's gonna be that all the cups are there so I'm gonna take the cups and put it in there so um yeah it's pretty dirty in here I'm sorry for the embarrassment but whatever um, so yeah, so that's basically it. The closet's empty. I just need to go through the bathroom and clean the bathroom up a little bit and we are done. And tomorrow, we're gonna pick up the table tomorrow, the grill, and our table and chair for our um, patio set. So those will come with. And it's funny because the patio set actually goes with the whole theme, so. Bye-bye. <laughs>